Hi, welcome to excellab.org. Our topic is net present value. An NPV of a project is a sum of present value of all the cash flows that are expected to occur over the life of the project. So take an example, let's say project PQR and, and these are the cash flows. So the initial outlay is 1 million dollars which is zero the year and from first year onwards these are the cash inflows so at the end of the first year the inflow is around two hundred fifty thousand dollars and um, we can see uh, different cash inflows period wise now the cost of capital or discount rate is ten percent and this reflects the riskiness of the project now to calculate net present value we will use Excel's NPV function. So begin with equal to write NPV. And first it is sh showing the rate. So give the reference. Then different values. These are the cash flows values. So we know these are this is this these are the cash flows. And uh, remember one thing: we only include the inflow values. Include the inflow values and close the bracket. And from that from this we will reduce the cash outlay which is one million dollars so put plus and and we already put minus sign minus because of cash outflow so plus minus minus so that's why I put plus sign and give reference of this so we, we got the value which is around sixty seven thousand dollars so this is the NPV of this project which is positive for project PQR now there is another way we can do we can find the present value we can find the present value individually of all the cash inflow so starting with the first year so put equal to write pv and we will have the function so first the syntax is showing rate so rate is 10 percent and per number of period and this two hundred fifty thousand dollars for year one so give reference of this that is C8 PMD is annuity that is constant amount for constant period so in our case there is no PMD so ignore it and future value we are finding present value for for $250,000 so this is our future value so so give reference of this close the bracket and end now we will we have the present value of $250,000 now we do some you know amendments in this now one thing first the future value which is DH this one $250,000 so make it negative and second the D13 which is our cost of capital make it absolute make it absolute by putting dollar sign or pressing F4 key so this 10% becomes absolute and D8 we are putting minus sign in front of $250,000 now why this why why we are putting minus so that we get answer and positive and why we are freezing or making absolute 10% so that we can use autofill function the fill handle okay now now we can just pull and we have all the values now we can have a sum of all the present value so this is the present value of cash inflows and now from this present value from this present value we will reduce the initial outlay which is 1 million so so let me put here the initial outlay which is 1 million and here from the present value of all the inflows we will reduce the initial outlay which is 1 million now we got the answer it's same only right now now assume these inflows are uniform and periodical that is it is occurring at the end of the period it's uniform in nature now let's say take another case where where these inflows 
is periodical but not uniform that is not at the end of the period so we assume certain dates date let's say the initial outlay it was at let's say 10th january 2012 the first the first inflow let's say it is on 15th may 2013 next first august 2014 correct this it's 2013 and the last one that's a 28 december 2017 now these are periodical but not uniform that is not at the end of the period so excel provides an awesome tool which is called xnpv so using xnpv start it start with xnpv equal to mark equal to mark xnpv and the rate so this is 10% the values which is which are cash flows so include the cash outflow also and the dates close the bracket and we have the value now now we can see the difference once when it is you know you know periodical and at the end of the period it's around sixty-seven thousand dollars, but when it is periodic but non-uniform, then it's around ten thousand twenty-eight dollars. So this is the advantage of XNPV.